Hey folks, it has been a hot minute since I've recorded a screencast. I have a ton of stuff to share with you and I'm actually shocked that I haven't shared this print functionality. It's very easy. You don't have to do a whole lot. So what I have set up here is a slide that I'd like to print. We are going to set up a little tiny, tiny piece of JavaScript that is going to allow us to print the screen contents. So what I want to do is we've got button two here. We're going to add a trigger and we are going to execute JavaScript, click the script dot dot dot. You are going to enter in window.print bracket, close bracket, semicolon. And you're gonna click OK. OK. And now when we publish this slide, so I'm going to just take a publish of 1.11. Let's see here. 1.11, okay, publish. We are going to be able to print this slide when we select that button. So we are going to open up that project here. Excuse my mess. Here we go. And then I'm going to open this up in Chrome. All right, so we've got our print button here. Um, this slide's set up so that there will be variables. So we've got text references throughout. Um, because we're just previewing the slide, you won't see that. So we're going to click Print. And we get our print preview. And depending on how you have your print settings, uh, this will look a lot different. So typically what happens is this looks like an entire um, slide. So. Maybe let's view it in Safari and see if we see something different. Here we go, we've got print, great. And then we have our print preview. So you see exactly what, uh, what happens with this window.print function is that it prints exactly what's on your screen. So when all those text reference variables are in, you would see them beside each of these individual avatars. And that's how easy it is to create a print functionality. You can tie it to a button where the user clicks. You can have it when the timeline starts. You can do all kinds of different things and integrate it with Articulate Storyline 360.